Should I buy now or wait? I feel like I've been getting that question a lot lately on my recent videos, so we need to talk. First and foremost, every CSGO investor has asked him or herself this exact question at some point in their investing journey. However, this time, it's a little bit different. Here's why. Counter-Strike 2 was announced last week, and our CSGO skins and items are going to be fully migrated to the new game. That's all great news. However, this poured fuel on the fire that caused skin prices to go astronomical over the past seven days. Other assets like cases, stickers, and capsules also stonked just as aggressively to the news, leaving many investors on the sidelines asking this very question, should I buy or should I wait to get in the game? I've been making videos this past week with the intention of giving you guys suggestions on CSGO skins, stickers, cases that look compelling enough to buy even now when their price may be at an all-time high. And I'll tell you I've been getting mixed replies surrounding the topic, from people raging at me for pumping my own investments, to people saying that there's absolutely no way for skin prices to continue rising. And while I agree I do not have a crystal ball that can predict the exact future, I can give you my opinions and reasonings as to why I believe certain skins and the like will continue rising even though they may be currently at or around all-time highs. Right now we are at a very unique moment in CSGO history. We haven't had an operation in over a year. The CSGO Major will be the last one this calendar year, and immediately after that we should be all migrating to the new Counter-Strike 2 game, which will bring a whole new experience to players and their skins. We have a CSGO case supply shortage where the demand is so high that the supply just isn't there to keep up, causing case prices to go absolutely bananas for weeks on end. And to top it all off, we are anxiously awaiting the Anubis collection, which is necessary for the upcoming Paris Major so the Anubis souvenir packages can contain new collection skins. There's a lot going on right now that would make anyone anxious and uncertain about the future, so I don't blame you if you decided to wait it out and just stay on the sidelines for a bit, at least until the Paris Major come May. However, it is a double-edged sword because you miss out on any further potential gain in the markets. It's not fun watching all your friends ride up the wave and flexing on their profits while you sit out and watch the show from the sidelines. There's a certain degree of fear of missing out. So what's the solution? Well, if you are already invested in several items and have already made decent profits thus far, kudos to you. You can either continue holding out for a higher price to cash out, or you can start taking some profits off the table. This will allow you to have sufficient funds for future CSGO investment opportunities. However, if you are starting from scratch, or maybe don't have a whole lot of skin in the game, no pun intended, I think it isn't necessarily a bad idea to hold off on investing the majority of your funds until perhaps the next major, or operation, whichever comes first. You can still buy some of the high demand items that I've discussed extensively in my recent videos, link to the entire playlist will be in the description. If the price does dip, which it inevitably will, it's okay, you can just dollar cost average and buy more to lower your cost basis, or the average price you paid for a particular investment. However, don't feel pressured to go all in because there will almost certainly be more opportunities to make tons of money from our beloved game, and I'll be right here answering your questions, helping you achieve the CSGO inventories of your dreams.